This is a pendulum. It's just a weight suspended on a line and anchored from above. Pretty simple. Pendulums were used for hundreds of years for all kinds of reasons, but most famously in clocks. Why were pendulums used in clocks? Well, here's why. Let's mark every time the pendulum hits the bottom of the swing right here. Okay, watch. All right, now here's the question. How fast will the beeps be if I swing it from much higher up? Let's find out. No matter how high the pendulum swings, it keeps the same frequency. That's why they were used in clocks, because it could swing for a long while, and even though it would lose energy, it would still keep perfect time. The frequency of a pendulum doesn't change, no matter how high it swings or how much weight is on the bottom. The frequency comes from how long the line is. Now this is a pendulum weight. Because each bowling ball has a line that's a different length, they have a slightly different frequency. They start out swinging together, but soon they start to make interesting patterns. Remember, each pendulum is keeping its own perfect time, even if it's slowing down. It's only the length of the line that gives each pendulum a different frequency. And now we're gonna max it out with with um, well, I guess these are already bowling balls, so this is already pretty maxed out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there.